Good morning, folks. I have uh, posted some generators for sale in various places uh, online, and I've had quite a bit of interest, and in, um, people just kind of, I don't know, a little more information for those that might uh, make them feel more comfortable. Um, the generators came in uh, in really good shape. The boxes, uh, you know, no dents, no dings. They're uh, uh, banded together with heavy-duty nylon banding. Uh, they came surrounded with this, uh, yeah, I mean, real heavy-duty rubberized foam. It's layers all the way around it. By the way, save those. Do not throw it away. Um, there's unpacking instructions. Uh, that's because this thing is, uh, you know, it's, it's mounted on, on rubber vibration mounts to you know keep things smooth and quiet and there is some bracing in there that must be removed before you uh, before you fuel or oil um, <coughs> excuse me I got a little bit of a bug here um, and I'm not going to go into real detail there because it's all in the instructions uh, you do have a 33 page instruction manual that has wiring diagrams and like uh, 248 parts uh, blown up, illustrated, and part numbers. Uh, not that that should be needed. Uh, anyway, on the foam, you know, they tell you, you know, first things first, is you lay a thick piece of that foam down, turn the generator upside down to remove the shipping blocks. So that's a bunch of stacked plywood. It's all tied in there with uh, some heavy-duty cable ties. And also under there is the axle for your, uh, for your wheel kit. Speaking of wheel kits, here you go. Uh, hardware, a separate wrench uh, for, that, for the wheel kit. Uh, dual ball bearings, uh, tires that do not go flat. There's, they've got a little tiny bit of cush, but there's no air in it. Uh, the, this picks up the back end this holds the front end level handles that uh, clip on up here I don't know if you can see that and fold up or down and instructions for mounting those I think there's also instructions in the regular owner's manual comes with a handy dandy little funnel there to make uh, adding oil a bit easier comes with a little tool kit uh, spark plug wrench, dual open end wrench, and a reversible Phillips or flat blade screwdriver. A set of keys, of course, because it's electric start. Got a heavy duty 100 and, uh, 120 volt plug and a 240 volt plug. And cables that connect uh, for you with little uh, jumper clips for your battery. And those go on right here on the red and black terminals, 12 volt. It has its own little circuit breaker. Voltmeter for output of the machine so you can see exactly what it's doing. A selector switch so you can choose 120 volts or 240 volts. Be sure you disconnect loads completely before you do any switching. And then there's your start, run, stop switch. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this. The um, battery, this is a little cover for the positive side of the battery. All you got to do is plug that in. You're set to go. Other than oil first and fuel and removing shipping brackets. Okay, that's about it. Um, they're $400. Uh, I think that's a better price than you'll find anywhere. Be sure and Google it. Um, Here's the model number right here, uh, XB4850EH. Here's a little information about just uh, perks, what it's good for, this, that, and the other. Uh, on the uh, fuel consumption, 12 hours. I think that's, uh, I think that's at half load. Uh, that Most all of the generator manufacturers do that. 3850 watts continuous it 
if you don't know about it, the 4850, that's for starting motor loads. Motors, when they first crank off, they, uh, they uh, pull down harder, harder than their running load. Okay, I guess if you want to read that stuff, you can just pause the video. Take care, be safe, and call me if you're interested. 281-721-9000. Thank you.